Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will discuss about Paroxysmal Nocturnal Hemoglobinuria. You have heard about PNH, but what is PNH, I will discuss in this video. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe this channel. This channel is for helping MBBS students and other medical students like physiotherapy students, pharma students and other students which are in pre-med, they can also subscribe. So what is paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? That is PNH. PNH is basically a rare and acquired disease. It is also a life-threatening disease of the blood where there is destruction of the red blood cells. So the red blood cell RBC will be destroyed and there will be blood clot formation and impaired bone marrow function. The bone marrow function will be impaired. So all these are very closely related with paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Now what is this basically hemoglobinuria means? Hemoglobinuria means basically hemoglobin in the urine. That is the hemoglobinuria. Look at this sample. You can see this is the urine sample of PNH patient, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria patient, where, uh, where you can see black color urine. Now let us learn about what is PNH. PNH is basically a clonal disorder, very very important clonal disorder of hematopoietic stem cells. So which cells are involved? Basically in the stem cell level there is a problem that is hematopoietic stem cell problem. And this is occurring. Why this hematopoietic stem cell is uh, having problem? Because of the somatic mutation. Remember what kind of mutation? Somatic mutation. And this is occurring due to a gene. What is the name of the gene? Pig A gene. Remember the name of the gene is Pig A gene. Pig A gene. And where this occurring? It is occurring on the short arm of the X chromosome. Short arm of the X chromosome. Pig A gene short arm of the X chromosome, somatic mutation, all these are very, very important. And this results in actually creating a disease known as PNH, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Now, what is the clinical feature of PNH? Very, very important. Number one is severity of anemia. A anemia is visible. That is very, very important. And this anemia is severe anemia. Okay. So the patient will be having fatigue. The patient will be having weakness. The patient will have pallor. The patient will have dyspnea. All these are characteristics. Fatigue, weakness, pallor, dyspnea. Second very important clinical feature is the dark urine. The patient will have dark color urine. And this dark color urine will be there in the patient in the morning. So morning when the patient collects the urine sample, they will have dark color, color urine. Now, paroxysmal. What is the meaning of the term paroxysmal? Paroxysmal means on awakening. When the patient is awakened, when the patient wake up at that time in the morning, I told you, that is paroxysmal. Now, very important characteristics of this PNH is splenomegaly but splenomegaly is not seen in all the PNH patients. Some patients shows the splenomegaly. Other characteristics can be venous thrombosis and this thrombosis occurs in different veins like hepatic vein, portal vein, splenic vein, mesenteric vein or DIC. DIC you know that is also a kind of thrombosis in different veins. And another very important characteristic, not only this thrombosis is there, but also bleeding also occurs and sometimes the patient also has infection in this regard. So always remember splenomegaly in some patient, 
venous thrombosis this is very very com common in different veins and sometimes dic and sometimes major bleeding or infection is a characteristic now you can see this this is actually showing the hypochromic anemia of pnh patient so i already told you this pnh patient has severe anemia and if you check the pathology you can find out this hypochromic anemia hypochromic anemia can be found out in this pnh patient and it looks like this in the slide sometimes they they give you this picture and they will ask you what kind of anemia this pnh patient is suffering you can understand this is nothing but hypochromic this one is the bone marrow this is also sometimes asked because there is changes in the bone marrow of the pnh patient also and what kind of changes in the bone marrow of pnh patient that is hyperplasia remember hyperplasia always remember what kind of changes erythroid hyperplasia remember erythroid hyperplasia mainly hyperplasia remember of the bone marrow of the pnh patient always remember this because sometimes they give you picture now let me tell you about ham test now what is ham test ham test is also very very famous for identifying pnh if the pnh is there or not you can understand with the help of ham test ham's test now ham's test what is done basically the patient's red cell suspension is there along with the patient red cell suspension a mixture mixed with this is mixed with fresh complement so or the patient serum is mixed either complements are mixed or the serum is mixed with the red cell suspension and when this mix together they actually you can find the lysis or sometimes you do not find lysis when there is lysis that means it is pnh and when there is no lysis that means it is not a pnh very simple so this you have to remember ham test sometimes they ask you in neat pg also um, they asked one time that uh, ham test is for ham's test is for remember it is for pnh so they do not ask you the procedure because it is not required uh, so much in undergraduate level but you have to understand ham test another is the sugar water test very very important at least remember the name of the test because they ask you from the name of the test like ham test uh, sugar water test these are for pnh remember sugar water test what is sugar water test we generally take sugar that means sucrose and we take red blood cell uh, red cell suspension from the patient and we take control serum okay so these when mixed together sucrose red cell suspension and serum when they mix together in the room temperature one hour either you will get hemolysis or you get no hemolysis if there is hemolysis that means it is pnh okay when the lysis is more than 5% basically hemolysis then it is uh, pnh and if there is no hemolysis then we can easily exclude that this is not a pnh so this is another method where we can understand if uh, the patient has pnh or not remember the test name this is very very important sugar water test remember sugar water test now this picture is also very very important because sometimes they ask you mm, uh, they will give you the picture and they will ask you this is the urine of pnh patient in the morning so you can see how blackish coloration of the urine has occurred blackish colored urine now this urine actually because of the breaking down of the rbc yes breaking down of the rbc and you can get this kind of blackish colored urine in the morning and that is why it is known as paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria paroxysmal means on awakening the patient wake up in the morning and in the morning you will get this kind of urine 
and nocturnal in the night and hemoglobin urea that means hemoglobin in the urine hemoglobin urea hemoglobin in the urine so you will get this blackish coloration so this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel because this channel contains so many free videos on medicine on pathology best medical videos all these are playlist if you go to the playlist of this channel you can find out so many videos on medicine on pathology i will i am definitely telling you if you are a medical student mbbs student first year second year third year fourth year if you are studying for neat pg if you are fmg student please subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help you